Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about color farming and we're going to deal with questions number 101 until 120. These review questions are in preparation for the fisheries licensure examination. Question 101. In which group does color belongs? A. Coral, B. Seaweed, C. Fish, and D. Mollusk. Again, in which group does Kaolarpa belongs A. Coral, B. Seaweed, C. Fish, and D. Mollusk. The answer is Seaweed. 102. Which one is a primary use of Kaolarpa in the Philippines? A. Ornamental plant for aquaria. B. Ingredient in meat dishes. C. Appetizer. And D. Organic fertilizer. Again. Which one is a primary use of kaolarpa in the Philippines? A. Ornamental plant for aquaria. B. Ingredient in meat dishes. C. Appetizer. And D. Organic fertilizer. The answer is C. Appetizer. 103. Aside from planting of kaolarpa in shallow subtidal area, what is the other culture method for kaolarpa farming in the Philippines? A. Pan culture, B. Cage culture, C. Tank culture, and D. The use of raceways. Again, aside from planting of kaolarpa in shallow subtidal area, what is the other culture method for kaolarpa farming in the Philippines? A. Pan culture, B. Cage culture, C. Tank culture, and D. Raceways. The answer is Pan culture. 104. Which of the following is not a potential benefit of kaolarpa farming? A. Generates local employment. B. Increased earnings for farmers. C. Improved coastal ecosystems. And D. Reduced greenhouse gas emissions. Again, which of the following is not a potential benefit of kaolarpa farming? A. Generates local employment. B. Increased earnings for farmers. C. Improved coastal ecosystems. And D. Reduced greenhouse gas emissions. The answer is D. Reduced greenhouse gas emissions. 105. How long will it take to harvest the planted kaolarpa? A. 1 to 2 weeks. B. 1 to 2 months. C. 3 to 4 months. And D. 6 to 8 months. Again, how long will it take to harvest the planted kaolarpa? A. 1 to 2 weeks. B. 1 to 2 months. C. 3 to 4 months. And D. 6 to 8 months. The answer is 1 to 2 months. 106. Which of the following is a common challenge faced by kaolarpa farmers? A. Market demand. B. Limited access to financing. C. Overcrowding of farms in D, all of the above. Again, which of the following is a common challenge faced by kaolarpa farmers? A. Market demand. B. Limited access to financing. C. Overcrowding of farms in D, all of the above. The answer is limited access to financing. 107. Which of the following is a method used in kaolarpa propagation? A. Cutting, B. Spawning, C. Seedling, and D. Grafting. Again, which of the following is a method used in kaolarpa propagation? A. Cutting, B. Spawning, C. Seedling, and D. Grafting. The answer is cutting. 108. Which kaolarpa species is commonly farmed in the Philippines? A. Kaolarpa lentilifera. B. Kaolarpa racemosa, C. Kaolarpa sertularioides, and D. Kaolarpa taxifolia. Again, which kaolarpa species is commonly farmed in the Philippines? A. Kaolarpa lentilifera, B. Kaolarpa racemosa, C. Kaolarpa sertularioides, and D. Kaolarpa taxifolia. The answer is A. Kaolarpa lentilifera. 109. What is the term used for the process of harvesting kaolarpa? A. Sorting. 
B. Stressing, C. Fermenting, and D. Raking. Again, what is the term used for the process of harvesting kaularpa? A. Sorting, B. Stressing, C. Fermenting, and D. Raking. The answer is D. Raking. 110. Which condition can adversely affect the growth of kaularpa? A. Salinity, B. Waves, C. Water pressure, and D. Weather. Again, which condition can adversely affect the growth of kaularpa? A. Salinity, B. Waves, C. Water pressure, and D. Weather. The answer is A. Salinity. 111. Which of the following is a harmful potential environmental impact of kaularpa farming in the Philippines? A. Increased coastal biodiversity B. Environmental degradation C. Improved water quality and D. All of the above Again, which of the following is a harmful potential environmental impact of kaularpa farming in the Philippines? A. Increased coastal biodiversity B. Environmental degradation C. Improved water quality and D. All of the above. The answer is B. Environmental degradation. The nets uh, used by farmers to enclose their farms when these are left unattended and could be drifted into the corals. This can cause damage to the corals as well as uh, trap some fishes. 112. Which period do farm kaularpa exhibits higher growth? A. Rainy season. B. Dry season. C. La Nina. And D. Cold months. Again, which period do farm kaularpa exhibits higher growth? A. Rainy season. B. Dry season. C. La Nina. And D. Cold months. The answer is B. Dry season. 113. Which of the following is a reason for kaularpa to gain international recognition? A. High nutrients content. B. Highly adapted to any environment. C. Fast growth. And D. High return on investment. Again, which of the following is a reason for kaularpa to gain international recognition? A. High nutrients content. B. Highly adapted to any environment. C. Fast growth. And D. High return on investment. The answer is A. High nutrient content. 114. Which salinity can cause mortality of farm kaularpa? A. Lesser than 30 parts per thousand. B. Greater than 30 ppt. C. Lesser than 25 ppt. And D. Greater than 25 ppt. Again, which salinity can cause mortality of farm kaularpa? A. Lesser than 30. B. Greater than 30. C. Lesser than 25. And D. Greater than 25 ppt. The answer is C. Lesser than 25 ppt. 115. In which year did kaularpa farming begin in the Philippines? A. 1930s. B. 1940s. C. 1950s. And D. 1960s. Again, in which year did kaularpa farming begin in the Philippines? A. 1930s, B. 1940s, C. 1950s, and D. 1960s. The answer is C. 1950s. 116. Which of the following is not true about kaularpa farming in the Philippines? A. The farming started in Cebu. B. Existing milkfish ponds can be used in kaularpa farming. C. Cuttings are used as planting materials. And D. Growth is fast during cold or rainy season. Again, which of the following is not true about kaularpa farming in the Philippines? A. The farming started in Cebu. B. Existing milkfish ponds can be used in kaularpa farming. C. Cuttings are used as planting materials. And D. Growth is fast during cold or rainy season. The answer is D. Growth is fast during cold or rainy season. 117. Which salinity can result to poor growth of kaularpa? A. 
less than 30, B, greater than 30, C, lesser than 25, and D, greater than 25 ppt. Again, which salinity can result to poor growth of kaularpa? A, lesser than 30, B, greater than 30, C, lesser than 25, and D, greater than 25 ppt. The answer is A, lesser than 30 parts per thousand. 118. Which local names are Kaularpa known for? A. Lato, R. Arosep, or Arosep, B. Tambalang, C. Paket Paket, and D. None of the above. Again, which local names are Kaularpa known for? A. Lato, R. Arosep, or Arosep, B. Tambalang, C. Paket Paket, and D. None of the above. The answer is A. Lato, R. Arosep, or Arosep. 119. What is the usual size of plot for Kaularpa farms in shallow subtidal area? A. 5 by 5 meter, B. 10 by 10 meters, C. 15 by 15 meters, and D. 20 by 20 meters. Again, what is the usual size of plot for Kaularpa farms in shallow subtidal area? A. 5 by 5 meters, B. 10 by 10 meters, C. 15 by 15 meters, and D. 20 by 20 meters. The answer is D. 20 by 20 meters. This is the last number, 120. How do farmers control the grazers of Kaularpa farm in shallow subtidal environment? A. Hunt the grazers. B. Apply poison. C. Surround the plot with bamboo and net fence. And D. Provide super light. Again, how do farmers control the grazers of Kaularpa farm in shallow subtidal environment? A. Hunt the grazers. B. Apply poison. C. Surround the plot with bamboo and net fence. And D. Provide super light. The answer is C. Surround the plot with bamboo and net fence. So this is our last question. I hope you learned something today. If you find this review useful, please uh, share this to your friends and please do not forget to subscribe. See you soon.